Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marissa and I do videos on mental health, fitness, ranch life, and sometimes spirituality. It's just an all-around kind of person. Or I'm an all-around kind of person. This is an all-around kind of type of channel. I originally started off with the topic of fitness and that has always kind of just been my niche in this lifetime. And I feel like I have a lot of explaining to do to you guys because I know majority of my people base is in the fitness world and I've completely just done this whole 180 and like kind of dropped my fitness life and continued down this self-help, mental health journey, self-love journey and I just kind of want to really sit down and explain myself to you guys and what's in plan for the next few months. I just want to be br brutally honest with you guys, completely raw and just really be real with you guys with what's going on in this fitness life of mine. I started this channel about eight months ago and it basically all revolved around fitness. But as I was getting into the channel, I was realizing how unmotivated I was when it came to fitness. And it's very shocking to me and to a lot of people that have been in my life because fitness has just been Marissa. Like, fitness and Marissa are two peas in a pod. And when I lost this motivation, I actually never anticipated that it would truly happen to me. But in a sense, I'm grateful that I have to deal with this struggle because I'm able to relate to a lot more people, I feel like. Because fitness has just always been this thing that I can just do and I can get lost in it. And it's truly a love and people will just be like, why do you like to work out so much? Like, how do you like to work out so much? And I just thought it was in my blood and that's me. When lo and behold, I have actually lost every ounce of fitness motivation you could ever imagine. And I'm just like not into it. I've gone to the gym a few times over the course of this past year. Every time I'm there, I'm just like, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. And I still, while recording this video right now, I don't know what to do about it or think about. But I really want to get back into fitness. I really... I really want to take my body to that next level, but I'm just really struggling with motivation right now. Like, hardcore. And I never thought this was going to ever be one of my struggles, but I really haven't worked out consistently in a year. And the year has just flown by. Like, as I'm looking back, I'm like, wait, I haven't worked out? Like, what the heck? And it's almost been more relaxing and I obviously don't watch what I eat anymore. I don't really care about what I'm eating. Obviously, I always pick healthy things to eat, but like every night I have dessert. I'm just living life, I guess you can say. Living the normal life and it definitely feels weird, but at the same time, it's so refreshing. I started working out when I was 15 years old and I'm 23, like... It's been a deep, deep relationship when it comes to me and fitness. And I just, I ultimately am tired. I'm, I'm really tired. I started this bulk so that if I did get to a certain weight, I figured I would, you know, become my old self and run to the gym and really freak out about it and like get myself back to where I'm going. And honestly, like gaining weight and like just looking at the female body for what it is, I am so appreciative. And like I, like, I love my body more now, honestly, because I'm not tearing it apart. I'm just like, oh, that's my body, like, whatever. And I don't know if that has to do with like my whole mental health journey, but I'm, I have lost complete motivation. But I'm making this video so that you guys will be able to see how I get my motivation back. I don't know how I'm going to yet because I've never really struggled with not having motivation to go to the gym. But I know a lot of people that have been in the fitness industry for a long time, they do hit like walls where they're just like, I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm tired. I don't want to think this much about what I'm going to eat. I don't want to think about how I have to go to the gym all the time. Like it, you just get like really, really, really tired. And it's a lot of energy ultimately. And then once you're out of that, lifestyle it's really hard to get back into it let me just tell you that much right now like I'm having the hardest time hardest like I I will like be like okay I'm gonna wake up early this morning today is gonna be the day that I start 
And then I hear my alarm clock and I'm like, no it's not. We're going back to bed. <laughs> and it's bugging me, but at the same time, I'm like starting to feel what the rest of the society has felt when it comes to losing motivation. And it's now I'm understanding like why some people are just like, I don't want to work out. I don't want to because I don't want to either. I really, 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 really don't want to work out. Like, no. Why I'm not motivated. I just honestly think I burnt myself out. I started at such a young age and I went from zero to hundred real quick. I became a personal trainer. I just dedicated my whole entire life to fitness. I love it. I do. But I don't love it to a point where I am truly exhausted. Because I had up to sometimes 12 clients a day and you're training them for an hour and then you have to train yourself and then everyone in your life as well wants to be trained by you or you to tell them what to eat or you to help them and you just get to a point where you're just like when is enough enough and I just I hit that wall I hit that wall really hard I just felt like I took a hobby of mine and I made it my life which I just don't think you're supposed to do I think you should have a few outlets of hobbies and actually on my dream board that I'm looking at right now I have this quote that says find three hobbies you love one that makes you money one that keeps you in shape fitness one that keeps you creative so I'm trying that's on my dream board and I'm trying to find that balance like obviously I know the hobby that keeps me in shape that's fitness but I also need one that makes me money and I also need one that makes me creative I just can't put all three into one and be like three for one deal because then you end up like me where it's like I just don't even want to look at a gym right now and I should have known myself a little bit better I kind of walked myself into something that I realized I would get tired of not tired of but just <sighs> less motivated because there's one time I really liked key lime pie I I tasted key lime pie for the very first time and I was obsessed and there's about a three-week course where I just ate everything key lime pie I had key lime pie yogurts I had key lime pie just key lime pie I had key lime pie ice cream I just and anything you can find key lime pie in I ate and one day I was eating like a whole pie to myself and like I just felt this urge to throw up and I was just like mm. and like I put down the pie and I was like I will never eat key lime pie again and to this day if I smell key lime pie I want to throw up and I think that's what I was starting to do with fitness I didn't allow myself to get to that point where I truly like despise it because I don't think like I don't think that's possible for me I truly and Anyone that has followed me for quite some time, this like this is just as shocking to me as it must be for you. Like I have always just been the fitness person, like always, and I'm just not right now. Like I love it. I truly love it, but I love myself more and I love my brain more and I love my mental health more and I want my mental health and my physical health to match. I don't want to have this extraordinary body. But then when I'm home by myself, I'm like freaking out, tearing myself apart, and the most insecure person I've ever met in my life. Like, I want there to be this balance. And honestly, over the past two years into the fitness little area I was in, I took my body to the extreme. I was at 8% body fat, I had like an 8 pack, I had really shredded legs and glutes, and I was just an all around muscle. And I just, I lost my femininity. Femin Fem, feminine, feminine, feminine. You guys will get used to this one day. Femity. Fem. <laughs> Whatever. I lost my feminineness. We're just gonna call it that right now. I lost, like, in my eyes, being a female. Like, I had these jacked arms. Like, jacked. And I lost all my boobs. I had obviously crazy cool stomach. I had a pretty decent sized butt, but like I just looked like this walking like mini man in my eyes. Like that's what I felt like. And it's not because of weightlifting, it's because of how far I took weightlifting. And before I got back into the gym, like I'm gonna get character dysmorphia. I'm gonna become competitive. And that's what I'm working on. I'm working on not to be that. But 
just knowing myself, I am that and I'm going to compete with my old self and want to be bigger and better than that person when I really didn't like that body. Like, I liked it, but I didn't like it. And I just, I want to be able to be like, okay, Marissa, like, you don't have to have these crazy abs. You don't have to, like, keep hitting PRs. You don't, like, you can just be content. But you also do have to have a goal. Like, I'm going to do a whole video on beginner's guide to getting back into the gym once I'm there, <laughs> once I like feel like I'm going back to the gym, I'll do like a video on how I got there because right now I really need those videos to help me out right now. I've actually watched quite a few of them for motivation myself and don't get me wrong, I hear the people out, but it ain't that easy. It ain't that easy. Now, I just want to truly stay true to myself and understand that I want cute abs, I don't want guy abs. I want cute arms, but I don't want guy arms. And I just, and this might, this might sound crazy to you guys out there, like, what is wrong with this girl? Like, first world problems to a T. But it's just like, character dysmorphia is so real. And that's what scares me. It's because, like, once those character dysmorphia goggles come on, it doesn't matter who is telling you what about what you look like, you don't believe anyone but yourself and like the reflection of your mirror and your 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 eyes really do mess with you when you look at that mirror your eyes really do mess with you when you take photos and I just yeah that's how I feel about it right now two years ago I would have never thought I would have stressed about this kind of stuff again I was like I'm good I'm golden I got fitness down forever and always like we are best buds and now I'm like damn it sorry I let go of our relationship and now I'm gonna try to rekindle it and hoping it you know wants to work with me too so yeah my mental health making it my everything and just truly being tired are literally the reasons as to why I lost motivation and it happens it happens to the best of us it happens to all of us I know a lot of people that just hit plateaus and like I don't want to do it anymore I'm like I feel ya I'm with you all day but don't get me wrong once you start going and once you're in like the niche of it it's untouchable like the way you feel when you're consistent in the gym is untouchable and that's the only thing I'm trying to remind myself is that like that feeling the endorphins I remember the other day I was having a really bad day and I was like you know what I'm just gonna go run I'm running I don't care why I just need to run I need some sort of endorphin and the gym was crazy I was gonna go to the gym and then I looked at the people and I was like, no. Since the last time I've consistently worked out was eight months ago. Well, a year ago, eight months ago, but I forgot I made those videos. So those mo those videos were what were keeping me going a little bit. But then after that, I was like, I really don't want to do this anymore. Not for the long run, just for a short while so I can regroup. But I'm not motivated, guys. I'm not motivated. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to figure out something. So I'm first starting off with how I'm eating because I know that once you start working out, that hunger is back on through the roof. And <laughs> it's crazy how hungry you get when you start weightlifting again. I'm starting to take my diet seriously again. It's really hard right now. It's really freaking hard right now. That's all I can say about it. My first step is just starting to eat right again because that is the kicker. If you're not eating right and you're working out, it's like... Mm, it would be like... <laughs> it's like filling up your boat with water and expecting to float. There we go. That's There it is. And it just doesn't go well. Like You, you need to make sure that you're at least it, eating 80% good and you could have 20% where you're messing up cheating every now and then and still see results but food is crucial it's not everything and definitely depending on your workouts you can cheat more often or you can eat more things that you would like to eat more often but food is a big deal so I've basically eaten just veggie burgers veggie burritos pancakes and Oreos for the past eight months and it's starting to show. I'm like, oh, it's freaking a little good. I kind of like it because I've just, I've had abs for so long. I'm like, okay, okay, 
whatever. And then my butt is getting like pretty big because I naturally have a big butt when I gain weight. And this thing's getting pretty <laughs> toasty. I always say toasty. Like, I don't know why. Like, when things are good, I'm like, I'm toasty right now. Like, I'm just good right now. Or like, this is toast. I don't know why I say it, but I love the word toasty. So, <laughs> if you hear me saying that, it just means like good. I am a little hyper right now. Which makes no sense because I literally haven't eaten this morning. That's another thing. Oh, I have so many things to talk to you guys about fitness. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Okay, but I'm going to just make this one video first. But just be prepared that fitness is coming back. It's like right there. And I'm getting myself motivated. I'm getting myself pumped. I'm getting myself back in that mindset. I don't know how I'm doing it right now. I have lost all motivation. But I'm trying. I'm looking at my dream board. I got this girl with a big old butt and I have this girl that's ripped. And I wake up every morning and I look and I'm like, I'll be back. I'll be back for you. I'll be back. I went to Trader Joe's the other day. Got all healthy food. I'm eating pretty damn healthy. And I'm starting to, you know, just really talk myself into doing this again. But I just want to show you guys the realness that I have no motivation right now. And then when I am doing the fitness thing again, just know that this person existed. Okay? This person does exist. This unmotivated person that wants to lay in bed and eat cookies all day exists in all of us. You are not alone. I'm not alone. We're all, we'd all rather eat ding-dongs and ho-hos and lay in bed and never even think about the gym. Like, honestly. But that's not reality. You gotta get your butt in there and you gotta work hard. You gotta lift heavy. You gotta do things that make you feel like you wanna vomit. But at the end of the day, you do walk out of that gym feel like a million bucks. And when I get out of my bed with cookie crumbs all over my chest, I definitely don't feel very good about myself. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna let you guys get back to whatever you're doing. And I hope you all enjoy this wonderful, beautiful day in Los Angeles. It has finally stopped raining, but the clouds are still out. And it's still pretty chilly. But it's not raining anymore. So it's a good day. And I have lots of damn things to do. So I'm going to get back to that. Let you guys have your day. And I hope you guys really, 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 really enjoy this video. I hope I can relate to you or you can relate to me in any way possible. Because we all go through this. We all go through this phase where you're just like, please don't make me work out. And it happens to the best of us. Literally the best of us. Because I never thought this would happen to me in my life. But I'm just like, I'm done. But I'm not done. I just, I needed a, I needed a break from a relationship. And then I like went and did my thing. I cheated every now and then. And now I'm coming back. And I'm like, I'm ready for this commitment. I'm ready to settle down. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That sounds actually really bad. But it kind of is a good analogy. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. <laughs> so, yes. I will see you all very, 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 very soon. Because as you guys can tell, I'm trying to do videos every day or every other day. I'm not putting pressure on myself and I'm not making any commitments. I am just going with the flow of the life and the universe and every day. It's like, let's do a video. And I'm like, yes, I will stick with this creativeness. I will stick with this motivation and I will continue to go. But if I lose it, if I'm like, eh, not feeling it today, I'm not going to put that pressure on myself and make myself feel like crap because that is the start of a downward hill. So you just got to stop and be like, I'm chilling right now. I'm just enjoying the view. No pressure. I got this. And all of a sudden you keep on just climbing up the mountain, but the moment you stop and like beat yourself up and you're like, ah, you just go crashing down the mountain. That's Jenko. But thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in my next video.